another damn it <laughs> I just ah. I've lost the introduction to the exhaust expert with the Gen 2 2018 Porsche GT3 which is why I'm here with you guys in my living room with FIFA in the background I'm about to edit the video and as I was scrolling through all of the footage it was nowhere to be seen myself underneath a blue sky wearing a red LA cap in front of a Porsche GT3 getting all excited about the fact that it was going to be my first time driving a Gen 2 GT3 and it's got a manual gearbox whilst I have 99% of the video which I'm gonna play you we lost the introduction somehow somewhere I'm pretty sure I was recording bit of a fail if I wasn't but we took the C63 down to East London where I drove a GT3 so we're gonna catch up with myself 24 hours ago where I show you guys how good it looks with silver wheels ceramic brakes but more importantly how good it sounds with the Brook Race exhaust system. Who would have thought that silver would work so well with the gunmetal grey and yellow ceramic brake calipers? This car looks beautiful in the sunlight. Check out the interior so that you get an idea of how much Alcantara carbon fibre and beautiness is inside. It is incredible. And let's talk about the exhaust system that is the Brook Race exhaust rear bypass. That is the official product name that sits across here. There's a really interesting reason as to why the Brook Race exhaust rear bypass is such a popular product. There are a lot of Gen 2 and Gen 1 991 GT3s that have got the Brook Race exhaust system in because if you have a look inside this rear arch, you can see the rear back boxes that are situated right there for one particular reason, and that is to heat the rear tires quicker with those back boxes. So when the exhaust valve is shut, it flows through the back boxes that are behind the two rear tires, meaning that you get heat to the rear tires, which are Michelin Pilot Cup 2 tires, much quicker. Oh, right, this is not a bad way to start the day. Sorry, I'm rhyming already. Let's just press the brake pedal to release the electronic brake and find the biting point and we're away here we go gen 2 gt3 my first try. <laughs> it's a manual i don't know why i find that funny but i do i mean <laughs> oh god let's talk about the exhaust system let's talk about its characteristics let's try and find some sweet spots i mean the gt3 as a lot of you well know it is one of the most beautiful sounding Porsches in existence. The naturally aspirated four litre is just to die for. And once you put an exhaust system on, then you unleash. Let's go again. <laughs> Now, we are not gonna take this car to anywhere near its limits as a sports car, but what we are gonna do, hopefully, is find some revolutions within the engine that make this car sound good. So let's put the car into sport mode and the valves on. So now we are running a straight through system. Get some window down. Here we go. That's a speed camera. I was getting excited there. <laughs> oh man, like there is something about the valves opening in a GT3 exhaust system that is so sharp. It's very punctual. It's very Porsche. It's very German that you've got the valves opening and then the sound that is unleashed out of the exhaust system. That's not a bad way. It's quite punctual. <laughs> we start with a stall, 
not the best start, uh, but just trying to get accustomed to what this car is and get used to my surroundings because it's been quite a while since I've driven a Porsche. Lovely Alcantara steering wheel, the seating position, as always, the driving position is just amazing. Let's try not to stall it. And we're going down there. Oh, look, right, okay. Still indicating. It's at 4,000 RPM. At 4,000 RPM, the engine comes alive. <laughs> and this car revs to eight and a half, 9,000 RPM. <laughs> right, we've got a little underpass here. Let's try and see if we can do a bit of a. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, there was a pop there as well. Now... <laughs> there is something so awesome about this manual box. PDK is easier, but the owner only drives this on the weekend, so he wants that additional thrill to come from his driving experience. And what better way to have it than having a 9,000 RPM screaming four litre Porsche exhaust system from Brook Race Exhaust and a manual gearbox. <laughs> This is making me scream how when I drive Lamborghinis. Oh. And with the automatic rev matching, the Brook Race exhaust, you get some pops and bangs that definitely aren't engineered like they are in the Lamborghini Huracan. <laughs> My first impressions of what the Brook Race exhaust system is like on this GT3 is it still maintains that naturally aspirated sound, but it is amplified. So there is no real tonal change as such. If you were to take this car out of the Porsche production line or just out of the showroom as standard, it doesn't sound too dissimilar, but it's amplified, which is obviously what the customer wants and what Brook Race exhaust system do so well with their custom systems is that if you just want a louder version of stock, they can do that for you. If you wanted this car to be more screamier or you wanted it to be a little bit more barkier, then they can tune and customize the exhaust systems to do exactly that. With my Hurricane, I wanted an Inconel exhaust system. I wanted a screaming car, which is why I said to Brick Race Exhaust, I want it to sound as close to a Carrera GT or LFA, which I knew wasn't possible, but I knew that they had the knowledge to be able to do their best with an exhaust system. They went for Inconel, <laughs> I knew that the engine was going to open up there. They went with Inconel because of how thin you can get that material, because of just how high the materials can cope with temperature. But with the Porsche GT3 system, because there isn't that much piping, it doesn't need to be Inconel, but you still get the high pitched scream, which is what Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> and I haven't driven a car this fast with a manual box. So when you dip that clutch to change gear, there is a bit of a throw, there is a bit of a mechanical shunt that you get as you're changing gear, which you lose in the PDK, which you lose in a lot of automatic cars now. But in this, when you dip the clutch, it is an experience to run through the gears in a manual gearbox. And I have to say, the driving position of this, being a Porsche, pretty bang on, you sit right over the front wheels like you're in a go-kart. This is arguably the perfect package if you want an engaging drive. 
It's just... <laughs> that was just letting the gearing go to about eight and a half thousand RPM. This car is mental. They don't make them like this anymore. I'm so glad the Porsche still do. That didn't even get to 8,000 RPM. Oh my God. This car screams. It's got a low end bark. You've got pops and bangs on the downshifts every now and again. Oh, 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 oh. transformed the car in the way that you drive it and I don't have the best experience driving Porsche GT3s but there's something magical about what BRE have done to the exhaust system of this car they haven't changed a great deal but what they have of they've amplified the sound they've kept that pure Porsche GT3 sound they've just made it louder which is probably what this car needs with the sound dampening that it's got the GT3 being a lighter 911 not as crazy as the 911 GT3 RS but still being a GT3 you want that loud sound and above 4,000 rpm is where this car really comes alive with the valve system open you've got a straight through exhaust system that just barks at the right tones it screams right at the top end and I have to say I don't know why I put the window down really because we're cruising there's quite a lot of traffic now as we head back into London but my god this is such a it's such a complementary exhaust system for the car and if you don't have an exhaust system on a gt3 then what are you doing because you can unleash the beast that is within and create some sort of screaming porsche cup race car and it's just have to rev it out but it still sounds so good i would give this four flames out of five i think if you were to decat it it might screw the warranty this being a brand new gt3 which is probably what you don't want to do but if i had a gen 1 gt3 that was out of warranty i would straight pipe the entire thing you've got a formula one sounding car that oh, yeah four flames out of five for the Brook Race Exhaust GT3 system. Head over to their Instagram so that you can see all of the other work that they do, not only on the GT3, they do a lot of GT3 work. They also do a lot of our rates. They do a few Lamborghinis. They recently did an Aventador, which I'm definitely gonna try and capture on camera. But this is the Gen 2 Porsche GT3. And I have to say, if I could take my hands off the wheel and clap, I would, because it is a crisp, raw, OEM sound just amplified. That's the best way to summarize it. Thank you very much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comment box what you want to see next on an exhaust expert. What car and what exhaust system and let's try and get another car that can get five flames out of five. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I will see you soon. Take care. Goodbye.